when you worked with Nas, do you guys actually like get together and really work on that record? Yeah, me and on Nas Fast Life in the studio. And I mean, he Nas must have just idolized you. I mean, what was what was that like? Did he when you first met him? Did he tell you, you know, that he was a fan? Um, or was he on his cool? Was he, he already never, cool he rapper? Never said it like that, but I, I knew it was like that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when we connected, you know what I'm saying, we maintained the connection and everything. He was cool with me shopping his um, his demos. I I actually had him recording in my house to make demos on him, so I could shop him. Wait, at the beginning, before, before, before Fast Life, before Live at the Barbecue. Or, or, Wait, what? or could have been right around the same exact time Hold as Live at the Barbecue. Hold up. Rewind. <laughs> so how did or you- Or Large Pro? Well, Large Pro is the reason why I knew about Nas. Working on my second album with Large Pro, um, he was telling me about young cat, young cat from Queensbridge, <laughs> like remind him of G-Rap, Rock him. Kid is nice, you know what I mean? So while Large Pro was working with Nas, he basically sets you up with Nas. Yeah. Or y'all just started hanging out and you started checking him out. Yeah. He's probably what? He's like, he's and probably then, like um, 17, 16, He's a kid. And then Serps came to my house one time when Nas was there. And Aha! Yeah, me, Nas, I think Akinelli might have been there. <laughs> and, and that's how Serps became aware of Nas. Damn. From coming by your house. Mm-hmm. Did, Pro, did Large Pro say that? I don't remember. <laughs> We had, too many, we had an ill Lars, Lars Pro. Pro wasn't there, so he probably don't have no record. Oh, Lars Pro wasn't there that day. Nah. <sighs> Crazy. So you're just hanging out in 1990-ish. Yeah. With, <laughs> in a house in Queens, Cool G Rap, Nas, Akinelli, and then Search comes by and is like, yo, this kid's crazy. Yep. How, how did you know you just knew Search from around the way? Um, oh, nah, I, didn't know. Cool I knew Search then. just from the business, you know, like bumping into him somewhere, exchange numbers. He happened to call me out the blue one night, and Nas is sitting, you know, me and Nas is up up in uh, my condo in Queens chilling. And um, he's like, Yo, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, just here chilling, chilling with a bunch of homies. And he's like, Yo, I'm gonna shoot through. You know what I mean? We had no prior close relationship or nothing like that. You know, Search was you no know, a fan. Did you know Nas was greatness back then? I know, yeah, yeah. I know, I knew he was special. It was obvious. Obvious to me. Just when when I shopped in the Def Jam and um Kevin Lyles and them told me he sound too much like a G rap. I was like, Do y'all not hear the 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 um <laughs> what distinguishes this kid to be unique? Like I know he's you no know, similar, but this, he he has his own identity. Did you already think from the beginning? Did you have an awareness and think? No, 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 this guy can actually make more money than I can? This I would have never even thought about it like that. <clears throat> you know what I'm Cause saying? Because you were actually trying to do lyrics and do it the right way? Y- yeah, and, and, I, and I just got a love, I got an appreciation for true lyricism so much. It's just that if I feel I see something the world needs to hear, I just want to get it out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you weren't thinking I could get a big payday if this kid pops? Nah, Nah, and this is why I never monopolized off the game like that because that was never really my mind frame. Someone wrote me yesterday. I said questions for G Rap on Twitter, and said, so, "I just thought it was interesting. Maybe it's bullshit. I don't know, but it just was an interesting thought that someone put in my head." He wrote and said, "Ask him how he feels like about being the guy who got out of the way so other people who basically allowed other people to make bread. That like you were a guy who never really sought." the money or glory you just did your job added to the craft and kind of helped facilitate other people um is do you think that's an accurate description and if so are you happy with th- with that role um i wouldn't say like i'm happy like i, I glorify that you know what i'm saying but i understand what it is and, and um i accept it you know what i mean like meaning like uh if if, if g rap's contribution was the game uh, to the game was to um, produce <laughs> some of the members of Wu Tang, a Nas, a Pun, a Eminem, or whoever else. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's many others we could say all day and go through names, but <clears throat> if that was D Rap's contribution to the game, I thought I, then I felt like I did something really amazing for hip hop. Did you work with Pun when you guys did that um, Executioner's record? Me and Pun wasn't in the same studio. I think Pun was out of town, out of state, whatever, at the time, because 
he was on fire. You know what I mean? This Did you guys get to meet at all? Oh yeah, yeah. So you were, and he was a huge fan. Yeah. Was he was he more forward about it? Because I think he was pretty outspoken about being a huge G rap fan. I met Pun in um, one of Fat, uh, Fat Joe's clothing store in the Bronx, and, oh, and Pun got on his knee, kissed my ring, and all that. No. <clears throat> he kissed the ring. Yeah, true story. Yeah. That just show you how how real of a dude Pun was, because Pun was a real goon. <laughs> you know what I mean? A real goon, and he got down and kissed the ring. That's crazy. I mean, and that's crazy because I, Pun is probably my favorite MC of all time. And he got down and kissed your ring. I mean that. Did now? Did you realize even in that time? Ain't mad about <clears> that, right? <throat> what do you say? Not mad. No, about I think it's amazing. Because <laughs> like I said, the same way you were like, uh, you know, you you looked up to so and so, pun. You know, it's like I consider you and pun to be different eras, and I can hear G rap in pun. But for the era that I grew up in, I kind of was coming to be an adult when pun was popping, and I mean, I just. A lot of people give me a hard time when I rank him number one. They don't think the body of work is big enough. And I just think his natural gift for rhyming was kind of like unlike anyone I've ever heard before. And to know that. Phenomenal. I mean, he was just. So to know that, you know, that he had that affection for your music, I mean, that must be really touching for you, you know, to know that this is a guy who many people consider the greatest and he considered you the greatest. I mean, that's. That happens to probably so many people. I wear that like a badge of honor. You know what I mean? You ever met M? Um, never met M. Was was G Rap one of the people Eminem mentioned in that speech? Did he mention you in that speech when he um when he won the Oscar for Eight Mile or one of those speeches and he shouted out a whole bunch of rappers? He shouted me in the Grammys. I, I I do remember that. Yeah, he uh. It caught me. Off. I was watching the Grammys that year and it caught me off guard. Like, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he's. I will say I think that's probably my favorite thing about. Who are you with when it, when that happened? Whoever you was with, did you tell him after that go get you some fucking ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit, this nigga. Ni- <laughs> hey, yo, go get me a couple of ice cream or something, man. Go ahead and have a fucking store, man. It's fucking G rap. That's that a, was mi- an honor for me because I thought M was um I thought he was crazy nice. Yeah. Who who do you who do you think the do you have anyone that you think is hands down the greatest MC of all time? It's hard to put somebody in the number one spot. Yeah, I can't do that. You know what I mean? But there are... Who are some that you know are also top ten? I'm, I'm assuming you have yourself top ten. Of course, Nas, Rakim, um, Kane, KRS-One. Um, the Magic, that's the Magic Five. Jay-Z. <clears throat> I don't care how many people feel like he went mainstream or whatever now, but... This dude was... No, he's still top 10. This dude. You still listen to him now and say the same thing? I appreciate what he does. You know uh, what I mean? think, I mean, yeah. He but makes even, big... Even when he's not being super lyrical, I appreciate what he does as far as making a good record, a good yeah. song. You know what I mean? So you, that's, that's I think, six or seven. Um, big? No big? Yeah, there's no... You haven't mentioned Biggie? <clears throat> Biggie was one of the um, best rappers to me. <clears throat> But I never put him with with the the lyricists. Yeah, yeah, because he was a good rapper to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a difference. As, you say it's a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you mean. But he was good though. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Busy Big is one of my favorites. You know. Oh, what, uh, I mean? what about M? Do you have M in top ten or no? Absolutely. M's top ten. Yeah, because he's a lyrical beast. Uh, Pac. Pac was a good rapper to me. Once again, you know what I mean? Not top ten. I appreciate your honesty. I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily think that he's a top. I know. You, I know. He's talking about that. Those the lyrics. That's what. That's what we need to get from him. He's yeah, cool. G rap. Yeah. He's the definition of lyricism. So it's fascinating to hear. Um, do you have pun up there? Absolutely. So pun's a top ten or also. I think that gets us to like eight. Um, you said cool G rap, Big Daddy Kane, KRS One, Rakim, Nas, Nas, J, Pun, M. Two That's more. eight. We have eight. Is there anyone else that jumps out at you? Who's another person? Here's one that other people that like like to rappers, rappers, people of Black Thought. He's a name that gets thrown in quite quite a bit. Black Thought too. Black Thought too. Give a lot of credit to Black Thought. Um, he's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. But if I have to go with my favorites, uh, then the last the the, the two that would have to go in those last slots, which would be 
no argument to me in the hip hop community would have to be Ice, Ice Cube and Scarface. Woo! Jumped out, jumped out, and had to snatch them up. Makes perfect sense. And not meaning they they come eight or, or um, nine or ten. No, no, just the list. last two. Yeah, yeah. This was a no order. Yeah, no yeah, order. They just included in that top ten. Ice Cube and Scarface. Scarface. Fantastic. True. That is, you just, not surprisingly, coming from Cool G Rap, that is a very thorough and complete top 10. Obviously, the headline that people would be shocked about would be no biggie. But, I mean, honestly, no matter what top 10 you do, someone gets cut out. Because the idea of having a top 10 without Cube or face. This nigga got himself in his own list. Of like, course he does. <laughs> he's being realistic, god damn it. He took a slot. He took his own slot. What's he gonna do? <laughs> say not count G rap? He'd sound like an idiot. Well, I didn't say it in order, but if it was in order, one is you know <laughs> this guy. Let's be clear. <laughs>